folks, here I am about ready to leave for the craft show. And uh, of course, I did not get done as much as I'd like to get done. And that's the way it goes, unfortunately. So I make the best of it. I'm sure we'll still fill our table. And I'm sure I'll still have fun talking to people, especially making my video for uh, my company. That I'm excited about that. So, um, we did some last minute tie blankets last night, and we're just trying to get everything together and get out and get over there. So, <sighs> all right, talk to you later. Bye. craft show wrap up. Well, it went actually much better than I expected. I did feel awful because I literally didn't have new anything new to put up except for we, the night before my mom and I tied like two holiday blankets. You know the ones when you do the ties on the, on the sides. Just you know cut and tie, cut and tie, cut and tie, cut and tie. We did we stayed up late and did two of those so that helped. I have my book. Uh, everything else was from last year, or my books and CDs. And, but we actually did better than last year. We sold a lot more. I have a little list. We sold like 20 items, and it wasn't bad. We even got a few tips, and I was really, I was really surprised it went so well, just because you know I was so upset and so worried, and I felt so bad that I didn't have new stuff to put up. But it went amazingly well, so I am grateful. Praise the Lord. I was definitely worried about that, and I really hope I've learned my lesson. So next year I start earlier. Hmm. Look at one of these little awesome things my brother made at my suggestion. We were thinking of doing clothespin dolls, and I, and I suggested he should do some toy soldiers. 
Look at this little fella. Isn't he amazing? And well, the one we had there, it sold like like a hot cake. He only had one done. It sold like a hot cake. And but look, isn't it amazing? Isn't he the cutest thing? And yeah, we're not selling them yet. I said, yes, I need to go in the craft business, I need to go in the fashion business, and I need to run my YouTube channel better. Yeah, I have to do everything. But just look at the precision. Look at the precision of this little fella. Yeah, I think he's got little, like, beads for hands. He's painted very thoroughly. So anyhow, well, I'm sure if you're a crafter, this will give you an idea of what you can do with clothespins this Christmas. You can make yourself a little clothespin fella. And this on top, it's made out of wood. It's like a da piece of dowel. And his hat is wood, too. The little brim, it's wood, and that's a dowel. And his body's clothespin. These he added, little arms. He drilled holes in them. Just painted them. Isn't it the most adorable little soldier? Just the most adorable little soldier. So, yes. This gives you an idea. And, well, his little sash, it's a ribbon. It is a ribbon. And this is just a clothespin with a little bottom stand, clothespin and paint, and a little bit of wood. So, I said you'll probably see more of these, I'll have him make some more for us. And then, at our one church, they are having, their, their Christian school is participating in a craft show, and they need some more donations, so we're going to donate a few of the items that we didn't get a chance to make, or, you know, he's going to make them a couple of soldiers too. So, but I'll bet these items are going to be in demand. I just really hope I get into business someday. I really hope, 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 hope. Okay, but, yeah, so you'll be happy to know that despite the fact that I thought I was personally disgraced, the craft show went amazingly well. So, thank you for your good thoughts and well wishes. And, like I said, here's hoping that in 2022, I will indeed progress enough to have a little shop and sell cute stuff like this. Alrighty, talk to you later. Bye!